Renaissance Synergy How-To video using ExpressLogix GUI X with your project. This video will introduce you to the basics of developing GUI applications for the Renaissance Synergy platform. We will use ExpressLogix GUI X framework that is part of the Synergy software platform, E Squared Studio, and the GUI X Studio tool, which is a WYSIWYG GUI design editor to design your GUI widgets. In this video, we will start with an existing Synergy application project that has GUI X components configured and initiated for the DK S7G2 developer kit and demonstrate how to use the GUI X Studio and E Squared Studio to add GUI elements to your project. To learn how to configure your GUI X components for a Synergy project, please refer to the application note for the DK S7G2 starter kit. The application note is described as Hello World under the Synergy Tools and Kits sample program on renaissance.com. We will start by importing this project from the downloaded application note and compiling the project. It should compile without errors, approximately 10 seconds. GUI X handles the events that are required at a system level, but to handle custom commands like screen transitions and button actions, an event handler needs to be defined. A file that was included with this project is GUI app underscore event underscore handlers dot C. As you can see, we have the functions that are used for the events in this application. Let's launch GUI X Studio by double clicking on the file GUI app dot GXP under the GUI X underscore studio directory in our project. The use of GUI X Studio will allow you to design a graphical interface for the application, which can use custom graphics you create and built in graphics. This will allow you to create displays and add elements to each display page and move items around as needed for the design. On exporting, the GUI X project generates the source code that is incorporated into your E Squared Studio Synergy project. The GUI X Studio settings are captured in the star.gxp project file, and you can modify the GUI elements and re export the source code, i.e., the process is re entrant and simplifies the development of GUIs on Synergy. GUI X uses events that can be routed based on the ID of the widget and the signal types from these objects. For example, the checkbox ID underscore button enabler can have two states GX underscore event underscore toggle underscore on and GX underscore event underscore toggle underscore off. When the box is unchecked and then pressed, the event GX underscore event underscore toggle underscore on is sent to the handler after which the box will be checked. We will now add some items to our GUI X project, after which we will need to add some extra code in the event handler to work with the new additions to the graphical user interface. Let's add a new window and some controls in that window. Right click on display underscore one and select insert window window. Here you can decide to move the window, resize the window, etc. We will now add the Windows Event Handler routine name. This is the same function name that we will add to our Event Handler's source file in the project. Now we will name the window and issue the ID tag for this window. We will call it Window3 with the ID tag of ID underscore Window3. Now let's add two checkboxes to Window3 by using the Insert button checkbox. Now for each of these checkboxes, we will need to assign the individual properties that make each of them unique. The widget name, widget ID, strings, etc. For checkboxes, we will also assign the pixel maps used for the checked or unchecked states. And just for fun, let's add a graphic to our project. On the right, click on Pixel Maps, then select Custom, then Add New Pixel Map, and select our image. Let's make this graphic be a button. Now let's change the text prompt string for Window 2. and then save our project. Now we need to have GUI X Studio generate the source code for these displays. Select Project, Generate All Output Files. 
Once this is done, we will acknowledge the prompt and return to eSquared Studio and our project. Here in our file GUI app underscore event underscore handler dot C, you can see how the previous items were set up for the event handling, and we can use these as our template. First, we will change the way the prompt in Window 2 will operate. By changing the code in Window 2 underscore handler and the event gx underscore event underscore pen underscore up to go to Window 3. Next, we need to start adding the code to handle the events from Window 3. Let's create the initial structure for our events by adding this code. Once we've done this, we need to add the functional operation that is going to happen for each of these events. In this case, I'm going to use the LEDs on the board to indicate the status of the air locks. So I need to add the code to control the port pins that are driving the LEDs. First, we need to include our hardware application layer how header file for the pin definitions. Now we will update our code to control our hardware. Now let's have a look at how the target operates with this project. Here you can see our first screen on the HMI. As we follow the on-screen instructions, note how the changes we made to our project are displayed. On the third screen, you can see the two checkboxes along with our graphic button that we added earlier. As we make selections on this screen, note our LEDs as they change color. Selecting either of our checkboxes changes the corresponding LED from green to red. By selecting the graphic button, both LEDs change to a yellow color, indicating that both the red and green LEDs are active. In this video, we examined the use of the Synergy ISDE and GUIX Studio to create GUI elements on the DKS7G2 kit. You can download the application note to better understand the process of configuring the GUIX framework and other components like display and touch for your Synergy project. We also recommend that you download the user's manual for GUIX Studio from the Synergy Gallery and understand the capabilities of the tool to design your GUI. Thank you for watching.